Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel NCRT Maths Hub. Today in this video, we will do worksheet number 48 for class 10 subject mathematics. So in this worksheet, we are given a practice test that is based on chapter 10, that is circles. So let's begin with question number one. You can see here on the screen, label these parts in the given diagram or situation. That is a point of contact, radius and tangent. So we are given a figure in which we can see a wheel with a horizontal. So here the wheel and this horizontal have a common point that is point P. You can see and this point P is point of contact. So point of contact. So now radius. So these are the radii of this wheel. So this is the radius. And here it is center. This is the common this common point this is known as center. Yeah, aapka center hoga hai, and you can see center here and tangent. This line that touches the circle at point of contact P is known as tangent. So x y is tangent. So x y aapka kya hai? tangent hai, jo circle ko point P per touch karta hai. So now we are given some more questions for practice, and these are very easy questions. So let's try to do these questions. So question number two is, so two tangents AB and AC to a circle with center O having point of contact at B and C respectively. So dekhiye me kya bhi dikhane hai, do tangent dikhane hai AB and AC to circle with center O. So we have given a circle with center O and here you can see A is common to both. So A is point exterior to the circle. So take a point A to the exterior of circle and draw two tangents AB and AC to the circle with point of contact B and C respectively. So now question number three, form from a point Q, the length of tangent to a circle is eight centimeter. So we are given a point Q in the exterior of circle and the length of tangent from that point to the circle is eight centimeter. You can see here and the distance of Q from the center is 10 centimeter. So now from this point, the distance between center and this point is 10 centimeter we are given. So now we need to find the radii that is OA. So we are given four options. You can see here A is 5 centimeter, B is 12 centimeter, C is 36 centimeter and D is 6 centimeter. So you can see here as the radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact. So we will use Pythagoras theorem in the triangle OAQ and by using Pythagoras theorem we will find OA as 6 centimeter. So as radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact, so angle OAQ, this angle will be 90 degree. So triangle OAQ will be right angle triangle. So now by using Pythagoras theorem, we can say OQ square. You can see here OQ is the hypotenuse. So hypotenuse square will be equals to sum of square over the two smaller side so that we can write it as OA square plus AQ square equals to OQ square. And we need to find OA that is radius of circle. So OA square equals to OQ square minus AQ square. And here OQ is given that is 10 centimeters. So we'll put here 10 and AQ is 8. So we'll put here 8. 10 square become 100 and 8 square become 64. So 100 minus 64 become 36. So now this square becomes square root. So OA will be equals to square root of 36 and this will become 6 centimeter. So now OA equals to 6 centimeter that is the radius of circle. So thus we can say radius of circle is 6 centimeter. Thus option D is correct. So now proceed for question number 4. We are given many tangents can be drawn to a circle. This statement is true or false. We are asked whether the statement is true or false. So this statement is true as circle is infinite. Infinite tangents can be drawn to a circle as circle is collection of infinite number of points. The circle kya infinite number of point ka collection hai and we can draw e tangent to a point on the circle. The hum each point per ek tangent draw kar sakte circle par but hum ye bhi jante hai ki circle kya hai infinite number of points se milkar bana hai. So on each point we can draw a tangent so we can see infinite tangents can be drawn to a circle as circle is collection of infinite number of points and on each point a tangent can be drawn so this statement is true keep in mind many tangents can be drawn to a circle so statement is true so now proceed for question number five more than two tangents can be parallel to a secant true or false so we are given statement two tangents can be parallel to a secant kya ek secant ke parallel Tangent do se jada ho sakte hai. The statement is false as only two tangents can be drawn parallel to a segment. So maximum hum two tangent draw kar sakte hai. A secant ke parallel like this is a secant. So only two tangents can be drawn parallel to the secant. So maximum two tangent can be drawn parallel to a secant. So the given statement is false. So now 
we are given statement question number six here i did by mistake question number seven first so we will do here question number six first the tangent at point of circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact so this is the fill up that is answer is radius the tangent at point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius keep in mind radius through point of contact so now question number seven the dash of the tangents drawn from external point to a circle are equal so the length of tangents drawn from an external point or you can say exterior point to a circle are equal in measure so keep in mind so now proceed for question number eight we are given if tp and tq are two tangents to a circle with center o so that poq equals to 110 degree then find angle ptq so we need to find angle ptq so as we are given a circle with center o and two tangents tp and tq and angle poq equals to 110 degree so now we need to find angle ptq we angle find out karna hai so as radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact so therefore angle opt you can see here opt this angle and oqt this is angle are 90 degree each and now as you can see poqt poqt is a quadrilateral so by angle sum property of quadrilateral we can write it here so opt equals to oqt equals to 90 degree now poqt is a quadrilateral so opt plus OQT plus POQ plus PTQ that we are to find equals to 360. So now this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree and this is we are given that is 110 degree and we need to find PTQ equals to 360. So now 90 plus 90, 180 plus 110 becomes 290. So 290 plus PTQ equals to 360 degree and PTQ will be 360 minus 290 and this will be 70 degree. So angle PTQ will be 70 degree. So thus angle PTQ is 70 degree. So now proceed for question number 9. So in the question number 9, we are given two concentric circles means having same center. Concentric circles are circles which have same center. So we are given two concentric circles of radii 13 cm and 5 cm. Find the length of the chord of the larger circle which touches the smaller circle at, point, at a point. So you can see we have two circles. One is larger and other is smaller and a chord that is AB here. So a chord that is of the larger circle touches the smaller circle at point at a point that is point T. So we are given radius of smaller circle that is R equals to 5 centimeters. So you can see here R equals to OT equals to 5 centimeter and radius of larger concentric circle that is capital R equals to OA equals to OB. These are the radii of capital circle or you can say larger circle equals to 13 centimeter. So here AB is a chord of larger circle whereas tangent to the smaller circle at point of contact T. So देखिए आप देख सकते हैं आपके सामने क्या है AB क्या है chord larger circle का है और smaller circle का tangent बन जाता है at point of contact T. So now as radius is perpendicular to tangent at point of contact, so you can see here AOT sorry ATO equals to BTO equals to 90 degree. So now in triangle ATO by using Pythagoras theorem we can find AT so at square plus to square or you can say ot square equals to ao square that is sum of square of two smaller side equals to hypotenuse square so at square will be equals to ao square minus ot square and here we are given ao as 13 so put here 13 and ot as 5 that is radius of smaller circle so here 5 so 13 square become 169 and 5 square become 25 so at square will be equals to 169 minus 25 this will be equals to 144 so now 80 will be this become square become square root so square root of 144 and this will be 12 so 80 will be equals to 12 centimeter so we have 80 as 12 centimeter the key 80 mm jata hai how kitna 12 mil jata this is 12 centimeter so this will also 12 centimeter why as we know that perpendicular from center to the chord bisect the chord so here o is center and ab is chord so perpendicular from center to the chord bisect the chord so at will be equals to tb so it is 12 so that tb is also 12 and ab will become 24 so here we need to write here as we know that perpendicular from center to the chord bisect the chord so therefore at equals to tb equals to 12 centimeter so ab will be equals to twice of 80 that is 2 into 12 equals to 24 centimeter so thus we can say length of chord ab equals to 24 centimeter length of chord kya ho jayegi 24 centimeter ho jayegi this is all about question number 8 so now proceed for question number 9 
sorry this is all about question number 9 now proceed for question number 10 thus in the given figure we are given a figure in which ac equals to 10 units find the length of bd we are given we have to find length of bd and we are given ac as 10 unit सो एज द लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट ड्रॉन फॉर्म एन एक्सट्रीरियल पॉइंट टू द सर्कल आर इक्वल सो देखिए एक सर्कल के एक्सट्रीरियल पॉइंट से जो सर्कल पर टेंजेंट ड्रॉ किए जाते हैं उन सभी की लेंथ क्या होती है इक्वल होती है सो हेयर बी इज एक्सट्रीरियल पॉइंट सो लेंथ ऑफ टेंजेंट बी ए इक्वल्स टू बी डी होगी सिमिलरली बी डी इक्वल्स टू बी सी होगी इन दोनों की लेंथ क्या होगी इक्वल होगी सो ए बी इक्वल्स टू बी डी एंड बी डी इक्वल्स टू डी सी बी सी सो यू कैन सी हेयर बी डी बी डी इज कॉमन टू बोथ सो वी कैन से इम्प्लाइज बी डी ए बी इक्वल्स टू बी सी ए बी और बी सी क्या हो जाएंगे इक्वल हो जाएंगे एज बी डी इज कॉमन टू बोथ सो हे यू कैन सी बी इज द कॉमन पॉइंट सो वी कैन से ए बी इक्वल्स टू बी सी इम्प्लाइज बी इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए सी बी आपका क्या मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए सी है सो वी कैन से ए बी विल बी हाफ ऑफ ए सी ए बी क्या हो जाएगा हाफ ऑफ ए सी हो जाएगा सो दैट हम राइट कर सकते हैं हाफ ऑफ टेन दैट इज फाइव यूनिट अब ए बी क्या है हाफ ऑफ ए सी है and becomes 5 unit and we also know that ab is equals to bd so ab equals to bd hai so hum keh sakte hain bd will be equals to 5 unit so bd is also 5 unit and that we have to find so humne find out kar liya hai ki bd kitna hai 5 unit hai so thus we can say bd equals to 5 unit and this is all about worksheet number 48 so if you learn from this video then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can thanks for watching